Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet, and welcome to day four of our holiday gift guide. Are you guys having fun? I am really loving giving away things in our holiday gift guide. If you're just tuning in, November is the Purple Alphabet Holiday Gift Guide month where just about every video is going to have a giveaway and you'll have a chance to win some great toys that are educational and learning in nature. We just ended a great giveaway for either the Neato Toys or the Storytelling Box. And so if you see your name here, you have one. Make sure to contact me within 72 hours to claim your prize. And if you didn't win that one, we still have a giveaway open, which is the Dollar Tree haul from last Monday. I have a whole box of goodies that I'm going to send to you all holiday related for the kids. And we have a giveaway today and then also a giveaway on Friday. Our holiday gift guide videos are sponsored and today's sponsors are Lakeshore Learning, Learning Resources, and Educational Insights. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, so these toys are sure to inspire some great play with purpose. Our first item is from Lakeshore Learning. It is called Survive the Earthquake Engineering Kit. So the Survive the Quake Engineering Kit is for ages four and above, and you get lots of stuff in here to do some great STEM activities. You always get a really fabulous instructional booklet that tells you everything that you need to know to play the game. I also like that the pictures are pretty straightforward, so if the kids can do it on their own, they can really visually see what's going on. This is your earthquake simulator. So there's a little dial on here that you can dial the level of your earthquake, and then there's a little tray on here that moves. You do need batteries for this one, and I already put some in to show you how it works. Then you get 30 blocks, all different sizes, and these represent your building. Once you have all your materials out, you look at your instruction booklet and read along. And there's educational lessons here, and then the experiments as you go along. So here's the activity one, all the way through the book of th different things to try. What I really think is neat is that the activity book prompts you to stop and think of why things are the way they are. So when you build your tower with your blocks like this and you set your earthquake dial up to different levels, why is it staying? Why is it falling down? And you kind of solve through some problems about how to keep it from falling or what would make it fall down. All right, so I've went ahead and built experiment number four as instructed in the booklet. And it tells me to turn my dial to level two to see it's gonna fall. I'm kind of nervous. I haven't turned this on before. So let's see what happens. Okay, so this is level one. Level two. Oh my god. <laughs> and then level three. It's gonna knock the whole thing down. Go, go. Oh my gosh. There we go. What's really cool about this activity too is that you can actually become your own engineer on your own, discovering which structures work best from falling down during an earthquake. I really enjoy this one and I think that your kids will too. Educational Insights really has some great things for STEM and learning by play. And first up is the design and drill race car. The design and drill race car is for ages three and up. If you've ever done one of the design and drill games before, I've showed one on my channel maybe last year, uh, you will know how much fun it is. Kids love to build with this stuff. And I like that this is a kit that's just for a race car. So the other one we have is for making designs kind of on a, um, a flat surface. And this you're actually building a 3G object. And in this case, a race car. So you get the race car body. You have some stickers to put on your race car. The wheels. This is your drilling tool. And there's also a drill bit that comes with it. And it goes right inside. And then you get all of these screws so you can build your race car. So you'll follow the instructions and create your own race car. And you can unbuild it and build it back together again over and over. Next, you can't go wrong learning about astronomy with the Shining Stars Projector. I'm really excited about this one, ages three and up. This is gonna be perfect in a kid's bedroom, particularly when the lights are turned off, and we know how kids love that. I'm gonna open it up here. Great little instruction booklet. All right, so here is the stand that the projector is going to go on. And here is the actual projector. It looks just like a little ball. These are all the discs that go inside that have all of your planets and stars on them. So you pick one of the discs and you slide it into the back of the projector here. And what's really cool is it's just it's like a dial. It just turns. So every time you want to see a new picture, you just turn the dial. I also like that there's a little handle here too to carry it. And then when you're ready to project, you just push this little button right here and then the light will shine out. You can kind of see it shine on my hand here and I want to show you what it looks like in the dark on a wall. This will make learning a lot of fun and I especially like that you can turn off the lights and have some fun in the dark. Learning Resources has this really great activity kit. It's a STEM robot mouse encoding activity set. This thing's massive, can you see it? 
<laughs> this STEM kit is so much fun and I love that it actually has a mouse in here. It's all about coding. It's for ages of five years old and up. You get so much in this kit. I wanna walk you through the pieces real quick. Here is the activity manual. You get a set of activity cards. These are maze grids and you get 16 of them. You also get these maze walls, there's 22 of them, and then 30 coding cards. It's a lot of stuff. So you can use these grid cards to create any configuration that you would like. You can make one big squares or several different patterns. So for our purposes, I have one big three by three square. So you would use Colby, who's the name of your little mouse here, to program your mouse to get through the maze. So let's say I wanted him to get to the piece of cheese over here. I would program him to move using the little buttons on the top of him. I chose three forward and I push the play and he goes. And three was too much that he just fell right off my maze. Every time he moves, he moves about five inches. You can also use the maze walls to create barriers that you have to go around. All right, so now I've got my walls in position and I want him to go around here. So how am I going to do that? So I want him to definitely go that way. So he's got to turn. I'm gonna hit this rotate button. Then I need him to go forward once he turns. Then I need him to rotate again to the right. And then I'm gonna need him to go forward and forward, rotate right and forward. All right, so I've programmed all those steps by pushing these buttons and I'm gonna push my go button, see if it works. Fingers crossed, you guys. I think he's gonna make it. Make it, make it. Oh, come on. Yes. He's got the cheese. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Now, if you're like me and you can't remember all those steps, that's where the coding cards come into play, which are these lovely little cards. So you can use them to demonstrate the steps that you're taking. So the first one would have been to rotate and then he needs to move forward and then he needs to rotate back and go forward. So you would use these as a visual reminders of what to push in him to code him so that he moves to the right spots. And so you would just basically put out these cards, kind of like cue cards to remember. So this really helps for the child organize it in their brain, particularly if they are visual learners so they can look at these and to play them out in their head before they enter the codes in and make the mouse move. There's another way to play and that's with the activity cards. And so you would set up these challenges as pictured here on the card and then program Colby to get the cheese in this little maze. And to liven things up, you can also use the tunnels. If you want Colby to go through the tunnel, that would be a lot of fun too. So what's in the giveaway? Well, you have your choice of the Shining Stars projector, the Robot Mouse Coding Activity Set, or the Design and Drill Race Car Set. Which one would you want if you were to win? Comment down below with that answer, and then head over to the giveaway link. And the giveaway link, you can enter to win one of these awesome giveaway prizes, but make sure to enter really quickly because these giveaways are ending soon. And if you want, you can score bonus entries by heading over to the Facebook page, finding this post that talks about this giveaway and tagging two people. And then when you enter the giveaway, you'll just copy and paste their names into your entry. I still have a whole bunch of things to give away here in the next couple of videos. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that fun. Give me a thumbs up to show your love and I'm gonna see you on Friday in our next holiday gift guide video.